Welcome to Arsenal Gaming. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We are back here today on The Walking Dead. This is going to be episode 5, and we're going to pick up right where we left off. Let's dive right into this. Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Kenny! What the fuck?! Sounds like a car. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. Made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. Maybe we split up then. So you stay with Lily? And Doug will stick with your ass because you saved him one time. And I get who? Ben? That gangly shit for brains? Split up. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Yep. <laughs> Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. Let's just look at all this. So much for the military. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Huh. All right, let's see here. There's no safe way through that mess. Are you sure you can't reach me? Listen, you're either going to have to get a hell of a lot taller, or my arms are going to have to get a hell of a lot longer. I get it. I'll keep looking. Push the jeep. 
Hmm. Hmm. Right, too heavy. We're going to have to use the winch. Got it. What is this? Debris, debris, got it. It's completely flat. Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. You can keep telling yourself that, Kenny, but that doesn't make it so, dude. for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I haven't asked. You even talk to that girl anymore? Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh, shit! No, oh, thanks. Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out. Go! 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 Help me! Somebody help me! Oh God! Oh God! What the? What the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus! I don't think so. We gotta do something! Well, she's dead now. Fuck! We gotta shoot her! Put her out of this misery! You don't know we're here! What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Kim! Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. He's already been bitten. Dirty as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go.
incoming! Come on, Lee! Time to go. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Oh, Jimmy, help! Oh, shit. Here we go. Back in the motel, I see. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? Might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Maybe could have got more. Half of it's probably expired. It just wasn't a lot left. This it? Yeah, well, we've been picking making clean for weeks. Which is why I've been saying, and I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but we gotta hit the road. Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. So you changed your mind. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. So, you two are, uh, having a disagreement? Cool it, Doug. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. It could be so much worse. When's the last time someone got bitten? Are you counting the St. John's? Jesus, Ben. We're all going a little nuts. But we can't tear each other apart. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We got all the protection we need. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? They won't be going back over. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. 
and it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Wow. Okay. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Uh, rough day, I guess. Yep, I've just been calling them days lately. I don't know what it is, but it's probably worth talking to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. And now... If she's paranoid, that's a bad mix. All right, let's go talk to Clementine. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, uh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah. We can't turn on each other any more than we have. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Guns should not make anybody uncomfortable. Hey, Doug. Hiya. What do you think about Lily? Doug. I don't know. I guess I'm sad. Nobody deserves to lose their parent like that. You don't think that would make her delusional, do you? I think it could make you anything. Nothing good. Do you feel safe here? Hmm. Safety has always been a bit of an elusive thing for me. I mean at the motel, as opposed to finding somewhere new. I think if we can get whoever is out there to leave us alone, this is a good place to be. And you know, they sort of stopped attacking. Maybe they forgot about us. What are you working on? I'm just trying to focus on the wall. Anything I'd like to contribute needs batteries or tools I just don't have. I'm tearing down this furniture to patch up the wall. If we go on like this, we'll have half the Travelier piled up out here before we know it. The wall's important. I guess. I feel worthless on watch because I'm not wild about guns, and I just wish I was more helpful. I'll catch you later, Doug. To pansies. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? You feel useful to the group? What? 
useful? Yeah, how's your spirits? I'm fine. I'm helping, right? For sure, Ben. Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Alright, so it looks like we've pretty much talked to everybody that we can talk to. Aside from maybe Lily. Oh, can we go back this way? Alright. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off, and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. It's just a few things, it's not a big deal. Bullshit, it's not. You know it is, and I'd really appreciate the help. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can't help. And if you tell anybody, it will be trouble. Secrecy. Did you hear what I just said? I won't tell a soul. The part about not helping? You can't help. I will live in the shadows. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's going to come out eventually. But still. Yeah, of course he is. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> what do you think about Duck? He's cool. Cool? He knows things. You don't think he seems down? Like sad? Yeah. Everyone is. You? I'm okay. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay.
okay. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Hmm. Hi, guys. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Okay, so that's that. Let's see who else we can talk to. Hey, Doug. Hiya. Do you know anything about this flashlight? Well, I can tell wait, you- Wait, 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 wait. I know you know everything about this flashlight. I'm asking if you know how it got busted. Lily found it in the dumpster. Oh, no. No, I don't. Well, I'll keep my eye out for some suitable parts, though. That'll give me something useful to do. A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. How's it going, Ben? Still fine. I really don't have anything else to ask him right now. Okay, so... Nothing we can ask them. I told you you couldn't help. I'm curious. You don't say. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. So it looks like Clementine. As pink chalk. Hey, Doug. Hiya. No. Don't the kids have some? You know, a piece of charcoal is a suitable alternative depending on your marking surface. Since we're on the subject, did you know that while chalk is traditionally known to be calcium carbonate, what's often used in classrooms is actually made of gypsum thanks to favorable domestic mining conditions? Doug, I did not know that. Happy to be of service. It was weird that the audio cut out. For my character. When I hey, went to ben, talk. I need a piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my... Well, my thoughts. And I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. We'll ask Clementine last. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No. It's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. <laughs> I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was coming to see him for clues yeah, and- Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. You didn't break the flashlight. No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. 
That's probably for the best. Somebody was over here, too. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Oh no, I was gonna close the gate, not go back in. Damn it. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. Okay, so we got the bandits. There we go. There's all our own missing stuff. Someone's trading with somebody. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What uh -oh. the hell? Bells are ringing. You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, man, get your out asses out here! We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up or I'll- Christ! Oh shit! Gotta shoot the guy with the gun. Oh, the other guy had one too. Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Boy, this aiming is atrocious. Now! Get over here! Hurry! Man, you saved our asses. Get inside! Hi there, Ray! Help! Katja, hang on! Inside the RV, it's gonna be okay. Go! 
Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sorry. Calm down. We need to figure out why this happened. Nobody died. We're okay, right? Katya, you're okay? We just lost everything. But we have our health. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Ben, I think we need to talk. Whoa, what? Lily, let's think about this logically, no? Logically? The new guy who could have easily been a plant? I think that's pretty logical, Doug. You think I'd do anything to hurt you guys? Don't play dumb. Were you hoping they'd eventually kill us all and you could join them? Why Ben? What makes you think it was him? He's always so eager to see what supplies we've found. He came into this crew as stranger from the woods. It's pretty cut and dry to me. I came into this crew as a stranger. So you're saying you did it? Nobody did anything! I know I don't get wrapped up in the politics around here, but we really need to think before we start stringing somebody up. Doug, I appreciate your concern, but we have all the evidence we need. You have evidence? No, not here, but Lee found the meds. We found an entire signaling system. Signaling Chuck! system? I know it sounds crazy. It is crazy! Just let me out of the car. I'll go. I didn't do it, but I'll go! Good. That sounds great. Lily, look at him. I... Fuck. Jesus, I didn't. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. I... <laughs> Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now then. Kitty, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. <laughs> Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick Fucking you out. Thing we should in hear half. what everybody thinks. I think thinks. you should chill out. Please, look, it wasn't me. Please stop accusing me. I'm really sorry you're upset, Ben. Just tell us you did it. No! Ah, this dumb fuck walker. You okay over there? Yeah, yeah. Son of a bitch. Ben, you have no other options here. Leave him alone. I think you both are protesting a bit much. Don't you think so, Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Huh. The hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just... You think any of that is good now? He's broken, Lily. I can see that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Evidence or not, this isn't any way to treat one of us. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Kenny, 
What's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until Kenny kills that walker to tell me it was you. No! Ben! Lily! This ah, is about trust, and I've never trusted shit. you. Let's just let's see just what happens. That's not RV. happening. I can't handle this. There. I got him. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Ben! No! Wow. Wow. <laughs> she just killed him. Drop it. What's happening? Keep duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. I didn't mean to. It wasn't supposed to be him. You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. What are you talking about? He didn't tell you. He killed someone before all of this. He was a convicted murderer. Is that true, Lee? Yes. Fucking hell. Were you ever gonna get around to telling me that? You got a little girl with you. To hell with it. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. I don't have anything left. Lee, a word, please. Uh oh. What's up? You stuck feeling all right? Oh no. What the fuck happened during the raid? What's the plan? Never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Not that you've ever afforded us that type of luxury. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Doug? Gone, but won't come back. Because he was shot in the head. That's right. It's horrible. Yeah, it is. She was a really small lady. It was strange. This one time my brother thought it would be funny to fill a tuba full of flour on April Fool's Day. And that same day, she thought it'd be funny to wake me up for school by playing it right in my face. What happened? Mm, just about what you'd expect. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. 
don't know why I remembered that. We got something up ahead. Damn it. Roads blocked. Now we got to deal with this. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Claire, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, huh? Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? Hadn't crossed my mind. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to stop this episode here, and we will pick up on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.